Hello everyone, welcome back to my second video in this series. My name is Devin Adams, I'm a Fortinet instructor here at uh, Dynamic Worldwide in Tempe, Arizona. And in our last video, we set up the LDAP bind between our Forti Manager and also created a user account for the Forti Manager and also for the Forti Gates, right, in our AD uh, environment. So. Um, after that, we really didn't do much with it because the video was getting kind of long, but we're going to go ahead and go forward. So the whole goal here is to essentially not have to create admin accounts on any of our 40 devices, okay? Specifically, the Forti Manager and Forti Analyzer. Now, remember that the Forti Manager and the Forti Analyzer essentially uh, share the same OS, and they also have the same hardware in a, in a sense. So the Ford Analyzer is just there for logging, Ford Manager is for logging and central management. So when I say Ford Manager, I also mean Ford Analyzer and vice versa. So um, in my environment here, I've kind of married the two. But uh, anyways, so uh, let's go ahead and go forward. So um, we had a situation, right, where we had two separate users. Let me log into my AD controller. And uh, let's take a look at that real quickly. So, all right, here we go. Come on. Here we are. Oh, that's cute. It's not responding. That's fine. All right. So let's go into our users and computers. And I'll just take a second to load up. And uh, we have Bob, we have Frank, we have Fortinet. So the Fortinet acts as the uh, account that we're going to use for our LDAP bind. We already set that up. So it uh, doesn't require any special permissions other than just being a domain user. But Bob is going to be a FortiGates only admin. And Frank is going to be a Forti Analyzer and a FortiGates admin. All right, so that's kind of the difference between the two. So we need to make two groups real quickly. So I'm going to kind of pop this open and I'm gonna call this bad boy uh, I don't know 40 F M G for my 40 manager admins sure um, I don't feel very creative at this time at night and then I'll just say 40 admins for my 40 gate users uh, 40 admin there we go and I should have just stayed on that pane. So once again, Frank is going to be uh, an admin for the Forti Manager, Forti Manager, Forti Manager, Forti Analyzer. So we're going to make him a member of Ad. All right, and I'll just say Forti here and check the names. See how there's two of them? I just held down Control to do both of them at the same time. All right, so he's now a part of the Forti admin and also Oh, I thought I did that right. Maybe I didn't. Here we go. All right. Well, that was kind of weird. So a member of 40 admins. All right. So we're talking. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Let me back that up. All right, now that we've made our two groups, let's go ahead and add our members to it. So on the Fortin Manager, remember we only want Frank to be a part of that group. So uh, let's go ahead and add Frank. All right. Come on. Oh, here we go. Frank, check the name. Oh, come on. All right, let's try that again. Now that we have our two groups, let's go ahead and add our users to them. So first is going to be Frank, right? Because Frank is going to be an admin for our 40 manager analyzer. All right, there he is. There's Frank. We're going to hit OK. And then also for our 40 admins for our 40 gates is going to be Frank. There we are. Check the name. And also Bob. There we are. 
So we've now put them into two separate security groups. So good times there. So let's go ahead and go back to our Forty Manager. And let's make a wildcard group. So HTTPS 10, there we go. Just auto-complete it. Yes, I know the cert is not signed. Good times. Alright, here we go. So admin, get in there. Okay. And then we're going to go over to our settings. All right. Do, 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 do. Come on, buddy. You can do it. One of these days, I'll get a big old beefy computer to do all this stuff. All right. So here we go. So we're going to go to our administrators. And right now, we just have the admin account. So we're going to want to create a separate account for our other admins and we'll just call these you know come on here we go 40 FMG S I don't know doesn't really matter but we're gonna drop down here and say we're gonna use LDAP alright now if you go ahead and oh, there we go if we go ahead and select a username for the LDAP it's only gonna pass the credentials over using LDAP, but instead we're going to say match all users on a remote server because we don't want to create multiple admin accounts, okay? And we'll make those standard users. All right, so I'm going to hit OK. And just to show you how it works now, all right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up a new tab. Now, if you guys ever want to be logged into a, a FortiGate or a Forti Manager at the same time using two different accounts, or maybe even the same account but have two different locations, you can just open it up in incognito mode. And incognito mode or in private browsing and, and Internet Explorer, uh, it will go ahead and uh, allow you to do that. So let's go ahead and try logging in now with Frank. All right. Here we go. So we'll say Frank. And we'll use Frank's password. And as you can see, it went ahead and found Frank and made him an admin without us having to make the individual account. So uh, this is nice because once Frank is maybe removed out of that group and everything like that, uh, you know, he'll lose access to the Forta Gates or the Forta Manager, whatever group he's in. So um, that is pretty slick, okay? Because I don't know about you, I don't want to manage credentials in multiple places. Now, there is a catch, okay? There is a catch, because watch what happens now when I log out Frank and I log in with Bob. Now, Bob does not or should not have access to the Ford Manager. He's not privileged to that. All right, so when I type in Bob's name and I put in this super secret password, you're going to see that Bob actually makes it in. And you're like, wait a second, that's not supposed to happen, right? It gets even worse. All right, check this out. What if we even use something like our administrator account that's not even a part of the support group? So administrator p at whatever whatever I have my password as right okay that's not good guys that's not good at all okay and the reason why it's doing that is because when we created this wildcard group okay it essentially treats all users that matches to this DC one as as an admin for this profile okay um, now there's a different way that you can limit it if we want to limit just to the support OU we would go to our remote server and we would and we would filter it from here all right so now if we go ahead and we point it to the OU of our here we go If we point it to our support OU, man, that's a lot of service accounts or whatever it is. All right, here we go. All right, if we do it to our supports, it will only allow users from that OU. Why didn't that stick? Come on, buddy. 
Sorry about that, guys. I'll just kind of collapse these. All right. Ah, I should have done it. There. I'll cheat. I don't know why it's not letting me select it. It might be because of uh, Internet Explorer here. All right, I'll just hit a copy. And I'll hit a paste. And now it doesn't do the search any deeper than the support OU. All right? Not a big deal. I mean, that's that's one solution, right? And as you can see here, if I go to my private browsing now, and I log out of 40 manager using our administrator account, I'm going to try to now log into that 40 manager using my administrator account and see what happens. See, he's not making it in because I started my, my LDAP buying search from the OU support. But unfortunately, look what happens when we try to access it with Bob. All right. So here's Bob. Here's a super secret password. And unfortunately, Bob still gets in. Now, why? Anyone in the OU supports is going to get access to the Florida manager because we did not do a group filter and that's really where the lesson comes into play guys you have to put the group filter on there if you want to have separate access according to the security group that you've created so let's go ahead and fix that let's go ahead and uh, go to our app. so in order to get that filter for just the group that should have access to it in other words Frank and not Bob we have to apply what's known as a group filter now you actually have to do this from the DC one configuration that we have in this pane right here so let's go ahead and do that so let's open up our LDAP bind that we did before alright and uh, we're gonna go ahead and open up our advanced options and as you can see we have a group now this is where we're gonna need to put in our distinguished name of our 40 manager admin group that we created in AD earlier. So I'm just going to I'm just going to go the long way and <laughs> load up server manager. I'm just being lazy. It's getting late. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the distinguished name from there. So let's go to our users and computers, all right? And uh, okay. There we go. And I'm going to get the distinguished name of just 40 manager. So let's open up that bad boy. All right, let's go to our attribute editor. Let's go down to our distinguished name. We'll go to view. Let's do a little copy. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go back to our FortiGate. Let's do our group. So we're going to paste that in there. And now, in theory, anyone that's a part of the Forti Manager group should be able to have access to the Forti Analyzer Manager and not well, not Bob. So let's take a look. So let's do OK. All right. And let's uh, let's go ahead and test it. All right. So um, all right. Here we go. So remember, Bob should not have access and Frank should. OK. And uh, instead of just pointing to an OU, we did a group filter on top of that OU. So let's try. Let's try Bob again. And remember, he should not have access. Oh, poor Bob. But let's see if Frank does. Okay. Wow, there you guys go. So, that is how it works. Uh, this way, we don't have to maintain multiple accounts in multiple places. And if Frank suddenly, you know, gets removed from the Florida Manager group, he will be... Uh, uh, not able to access the Florida manager anymore okay and as you can see Bob did fail so let's say in theory that Bob did get promoted to Florida manager analyzer rights uh, it's as easy as adding Bob into that group in Active Directory so we don't even need to touch the um, the Florida manager for the analyzer to do that we just have to say members all right see how it's just Frank Bob's been promoted to touch the Florida manager analyzer there we go alright and now you can see when we log out Frank Bob will now have access okay so there we go and as you can see Bob now is able to get into the Florida analyzer Florida manager pretty cool huh so and then you know if we ever remove him from that group boom he'll lose 
he'll lose access. So, in fact, you know what? Frank got demoted. Ah, oh, poor Frank. Uh, he no longer has access to the Forty Manager, Forty Analyzer. So we get our sysadmins to pull out Frank. So we go to our members. We say, Frank, sorry, buddy. You're, you're just not cool anymore. All right. And uh, maybe we go ahead and we make Frank, poor guy. We'll leave him as a 40 gate administrator. Okay. But as you can see now, when he tries to log into his Forda manager, Forda analyzer, he's just not going to be able to do it. So, all right, Frank. Yeah, so there you guys go. So as you can see, we created a wildcard group, all right, specifically for a particular group filter. So without the group filter on, though, uh, you can only point to like an OU, and the last thing you want is anyone on the domain controller or the AD to be able to authenticate in. So um, that is pretty much it for this demo. I'm going to take it a step further, though, just to show you guys to complete it on the FortiGate. So... Um, because we set up the LDAP bind, but we did not really set up it on the FortiGate. So to make a wild card on the FortiGate, and let me pull this over here. And I'm sorry, guys. I just realized that was awfully small. Hopefully it wasn't too small when I was doing it earlier. Here we go. And let's log in. So we can do the same thing with the Forti Manager. I mean, for the FortiGate, sorry. Um, here we go. We already set up that LDAP bind, but it's actually a little bit easier on the Forda Manager. You get a little more granularity. So uh, what you have to do here is that you do a user group. And from this user group, you say, hey, uh, we're going to make a 40 admin group. All right. So here we go. And this is all just a bonus. I've actually shown videos on how to do this. I'm just doing it for the sake of completeness. So uh, 40 admins. Okay. And now we're going to say, hey, you know what? It's on the for it's on the, the firewall, but we're going to use a remote group from our LDAP server. All right. And then we should be able to get an app LDAP query. And this time it's just going to be the 40 admins. So not the 40 managers. Maybe. There they are. So we'll right click. We'll say add selection. Once you get the green, you know you're good to go. We're going to hit OK. All right, and we're going to hit OK. And now, once that's created, and we're going to go to System, and we're going to go to our Admins. All right, and we'll create a new one, and we'll just make these these dudes standard users. So, and uh, we're going to match all users on a remote server group. Okay, and we're going to say, hey, you're. 40 admins. All right. And what administrator profile? We're just going to do our. Uh, wow, look at that, man. They have all these new ones here. I thought there was going to be a, a standard user, but I guess we have to do super admin. That's fine. Here we go. And as you can see, it's going to be the, the user group that we just created. So, 40 admins. And if you guys remember, Frank is a part of that group. Bob's a part of that group, so we should be able to log in Frank and Bob. So uh, we'll go ahead and we'll log out our admin, and we'll let Frank do his FortiGate thing. And as you can see, he has access, all right, because he's a part of the 40 admin group on the AD controller. So there's a little bonus for you guys. I know I've shown that in the past, but uh, that's how you can control it on the FortiGates. So um, all right, guys. In this demo, we created the necessary accounts in AD, and then we set up the LDAP servers on the Forti Manager, Forti Analyzer, and as a bonus, we did on the FortiGate. And then we created the admin groups on the Forti Manager. All right. And to have that specific granularity of which group is allowed, we also applied a group filter. So uh, I hope that is helpful, and uh, especially for the person I'm recording this for. And uh, if you guys have any questions, just let me know. And uh, yeah, take care.